Okay, this is Wing Rider. We're back with the next next one. 2004 BMW C1, made in Germany. Look at this thing. It's got like a, a little cab deal on it. And Triumph 900, Triumph Moto Guzzi, Italian bike there. You wouldn't have no trouble replacing the starter on that one. Man, these guys are out here running. I'd like to see the race tomorrow, but I don't want to get caught in, uh, or uh, Friday, Saturday. It's supposed to rain. If I stay here tomorrow, then I go home Saturday. Man, I'd love to get that on video for you. I know everybody's, why not? You wimp. I'm not going to get my ass wet stuck here a couple of days and a couple hundred more dollars in motel rooms supposed to rain Saturday and Sunday so I'm going back home tomorrow which is Friday oh man look at that CSX turbo or I'm sorry CX650 turbo man that's a beautiful bike oh wow look at that 1983 that's a uh twin cylinder bike like a v-twin but it's turned sideways there Suzuki turbo there's one I would love to have I've always thought man I'd love to have one of these except the 1200 this is uh this one is the uh, 1998 BMW R1100 GS if you're familiar with uh, the documentary is Long Way Down and Long Way Round. Um, Ewan McGregor and Charlie Borman, they do uh, these documentary with these trips around the world. The first one was in 94, uh, I'm not sure, or 2004, and they did it on the 1100 GS. And the next one was the 1200 GS. But beautiful machine man and if you want just speed Suzuki Hayabusa 194 miles an hour oh, not with my ass on today anyway uh, let's continue Gold Wing Trike my 2012 sitting out front there this is a 2001 Honda Gold Wing Trike Oh, now if you want to travel in comfort, there you go. And next to it, a Can-Am Spider, which is three wheels. This reverse trike. Okay, here you go. This this is the Harley V-Rod. This is the one that they come up with. This is 2003. When they first come up with this bike, it's, it's liquid cool. It's got a radiator. It, it, it's... But a, a kind of a departure for Har Harley, but uh, beautiful machine. Here's one. This is like a composite material. 2007 Buell XBRR, and um, the the it's like this composite material, just about the whole bike, and. Uh, let's see. Here's your Kawasaki 1000R. 1982 Kawasaki KZ 1000R. It's got a signature on it. Right there. Uh, there's probably, I'm sure well, there's a story behind that one, but... Uh, I, More beautiful machine. Oh, look at this Suzuki GS 1000s. Back in the 80s, I loved these Suzuki GS. I wanted one, but uh, I had an old CB 550, and finances weren't exactly available at the time for that. Okay. Man, BMW R 1200. That's a big boy. And then here's the Christmas tree up. Nothing but old bikes. And look at this thing. 
gets more interesting as we go. Oh, oh there's no Honda CB350T twin cylinder four stroke. And there you go, no Honda Trail 110. One I wished I had was uh, my brother and I had a 1973 Honda ATC73 wheeler that my dad got us for Christmas. They don't have anything like that in here. So I'm going to cut this one and I know you're still screaming at me, slow down, slow down, let's look at the bikes, man. But, you know, I don't guess anybody's going to hire me to do their videography, so. <clears throat> check out some this Buell RR1200 that's got an unusual looking bike cut the wind there uh, anyway uh oh here, here you go I gotta say something about this 2008 Victory Vision Tour now this is is, is a beautiful bike it, it's I'm a Goldwing guy. This this one just looks weird to me. It's futuristic kind. I mean, it's a beautiful bike, you know. But you know, belt drive, V-twin. Uh, you know, it's a beautiful machine. But Honda, just the Goldwing, just you can't compare the two. So th this one here's like uh, a futuristic kind of bike. The Goldwing's been around 40 years, so. Anyway, let me cut this video, and they got them lined, they got them here, all up here. There's a 1990, or Pacific Coast, 1988, I think that was the first year. I've got a 1990 model. Let me cut this one and go down to the next level. So look for the next video.